Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we will cover economic questions. Since economy is a bit difficult subject, I will try to explain the answers also. If a commodity is provided free to the public by the government, then options are the opportunity cost is zero, the opportunity cost is ignored, the opportunity cost is transferred from the consumers of the product to the tax paying public and D. The opportunity cost is transferred from the consumer of the product to the government. Now you can certainly eliminate two of the options that opportunity cost is zero and opportunity cost is ignored. Now whether it is transferred to the tax paying public or to the government. First of all, we need to understand what is the opportunity cost. Simply it is the foregone benefit that would have been derived from an option not chosen. For example, there are two options, apples and there are some burgers. There are greater benefits if you buy apple and lesser benefit if you buy burger. If you choose to buy a burger, then the foregone benefit is the opportunity cost. In formula, it is equal to return of most lucrative option minus return of chosen option. For example, if a government is investing in a priority sector, for example, in education or in infrastructure and there is not any immediate gain, but there was investment if the government had chosen to invest in a factory, there would have been immediate gains. So the gains that have been foregone for the investment in priority sector, who bears that cost? That cost is borne by the tax paying public. If a government gives subsidy, ultimately that cost is borne by the tax paying public. It is not zero, neither it is ignored. So the answer will be the opportunity cost is transferred from the consumer of the product to the tax paying public. C. Next, which of the following is are included in the capital budget of the government of India? Expenditure on acquisition of assets like roads, buildings, machinery, etc. Loans received from foreign governments, loans and advances granted to the states and union territories. Now, capital budget includes two things, capital receipts and capital payments. Capital receipts are all those loans that are received by the government. The loans raised by the government from the public, which are called market loans, borrowings by the government from the reserve bank or through the sale of treasury bills, loans received from foreign bodies and governments and recoveries of loans. The loans that were granted to the state government and then later on recovered, those all are included in capital receipts. Capital payments include capital expenditure on Acquisition of assets like land, buildings, means everything that builds asset, the expenditure on that is called capital payment or capital expenditure. Advances granted by the central government to the state or the union territory, investment in shares, loans, etc. in the infrastructure, etc. These all are included in capital payment. So here the answer will be expenditure on acquisition of assets like road buildings. Yes, this is capital expenditure, loans capital receipts and loans and advances granted to the state. This is capital expenditure. So all of the above 1, 2 and 3. In economy, mostly the conceptual questions are asked and the conceptual questions which revolve around the current affairs. So what we will do, we will solve previous year questions and take on the concepts one by one and try to understand through the questions. In this way, you will be able to revise most of the topics of economy. This was all for today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching and do subscribe if you are new here. Have a nice day.